Hello friends, in this video I'm going to check the Laravel Breeze API. So here if you go to the Laravel uh, documentation, starter kits, we have here the Breeze API. And we have an example with uh, Next.js. So if you go to the GitHub, and here we can we have the installation. We can create a new Laravel application and run install this breeze with API flag. And after that, we need to clone this repository, next project, and install npm install. And we need to copy this one. And we are going to do this in this video. And also, I'm going to create a new project with a vid, new view project. And also uh, connect the the same thing we have connected the vit the Next.js also connect the Vue.js project with Laravel backend. Okay. So first, I'm going to do is come here and create a new Laravel project. Copy this command. Go to the terminal and hit enter. After that, we need to go cd in the backend. But I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open a new terminal. Okay, zoom it. And here, I'm going also to cd in the code and clone this repository. So, on the same thing, I'm going to do the clone this repository to the VS code, to the code here in directory code, git clone, and I'm going to clone in the breeze dash next folder. Okay, now we need to go and install npm install here, so cd in the breeze next, and run the npm install, npm install. Okay, that's it for the front end. Now in the back end, we need to go CD in the back end. So open the first one, go there. Here we are in the Laravel, so we need to install Composer Require Breeze and also install Breeze with API flag. Okay. And I have created a database with next uh, backend name. So I'm going to say artisan migrate fresh. Okay, and uh, we need to run the PHP artisan serve and also, but first. If you go here and check, so during we have here during installation, please will add the front end URL environment variables to the .env file in our application, in our backend application. So what I'm going to do is in the next backend, I'm going to open with PS code to see if we have that. So in here now, if I open the .env file and search for this environment variable. Okay, well, we don't have any results, so no result. We need to add it manually, so come here, add this one, and we need to instantiate this with HTTP localhost 3000. Paste that in, hit save. And close. And you go if you go you to the roads web row. When we go to the slash, we return the Laravel and the version. So, with that, I'm going to close this. And with that, if I search, if I say artisan serve, and open now the localhost eight thousand. Yeah, we get the Laravel and the Laravel version. 
Okay. Now we need to work with the back with the front end. So if I open the please next front end and we are there, open this with a VS Code. We need to copy this dot env dot example to dot env dot local. Okay, so open the dot env dot example and I'm going to save this as a dot env dot local. Okay. Close this. And with that, we need to run the npm run dev and visit the localhost 3000. So npm run dev and visit the localhost 3000. Okay. So localhost 3000. And also I'm going to open the table plus to see the database if we when we create a new user. So open the next backend. For now we don't have any user. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this look familiar. This front page. So if I go now to the register page and register as a test user. Go and register. Yeah, we have new user and if I go to the table plus and refresh, we have the user here. Now we can uh, log out. And log in. Okay, and this is front end you see here 3000. Okay, that's it very easy to connect the next JS with uh, Laravel backend, but I want to create also a new view and create and connect with that backend we have here. So for that, if you go to the vid.js and I'm going to copy this command, come here, I'm here, we are in the front end. Now I'm going to terminate this and go back and create a new project, but now with view. So I'm going to say breeze dash view. Okay. And you see how quick was in a second. Run the npm install. And if you go here to the Laravel Breeze next, and I'm going to open the sources here, pages, we have the register page. Here we get the register from the use out. Okay. And have the, in the register, call the register and the name, email, password, and password confirmation. So that is the data we need to go set to send to the request. And with that, if you go to the this out use out is from hooks slash out, and if I go to there, so hooks slash out JS. Here we have the register method. And first we make a CSRF constant and axios.get sanctum CSRF cookie and create a constant register, await for the CSRF and make a post, axios post to the register road and we add the props. The props is the name. So the props are these props, name, email, password, and password confirmation, and this one. Okay. And here also we need to install Axios here, so I'm going to npm 
install Axios. Okay, because we need Axios. If I go here, uh, lib Axios library, and we import Axios from Axios, and we add the base URL, which is the process.env.next public backend URL. So what we added in the next JS, so is this URL, okay? Next public backend URL. I'm going to copy this one and also close this because now I'm going to open the breeze with the VS code. And here in the source, we have the app view. Also here, I'm going to run the npm run dev now. I'm going to remove everything we have. So remove the styles and in the template. Okay, we have only the script setup and nothing in it. Okay, save this. Now if I visit localhost 3000 again, I have forget to log out. My mistake. Inspect element and I'm gonna need to go to the application and cl clear the and also I'm going to clear the localhost session. And we don't have anything. Okay. So if I refresh, we have the VIT app and nothing. Uh, in the source now, I'm going to create a new folder, the same thing we have here. Okay, this uh, source lib axios.js. So the same thing I'm going to do here, create a new folder. And here, new file, axios.js. And paste that in. Just so we don't have this .env file here. For that, I'm going to add the localhost, sorry, HTTP localhost 8000. Okay, save. Close this. Next one I'm going to do is create the data we want, we need to, for register because I'm going to register a new user. And why? And what data we need? We need the name, email, password, and password confirmation. So in the setup, first I'm going to import Axios, not from Axios, but from lib Axios. Okay. Next, I'm going to create a constant for data and say an object with key value pairs. So name, and name is going to be view in this case, an email, which is going to be the view email.com. What we need, we need also the password, which is going to be one to nine, and also the password confirmation. The same thing, one to nine. Okay, next. Next we need to create in the template, I'm going to create a new button. We're not going to create the form here, just to demonstrate to you, I'm going to create a new button. And when we click to this button, I'm going to call the register method, register. And also I'm going to say click dot prevent and say register here to the button. Okay. Now we call this register, but this register is coming from EOSouth 
and use out is coming from hooks and out. So from here. And here we have the register method. And before we waiting for this CSRF token, so I'm going to copy what we have here. And come here, paste it. We say Axios get the CSRF from cookie. And we await here. We don't need the errors right now. Axios post, not props, but I'm going to add data. And also we don't need these uh, props and errors here. So if I save right now with that bit, we add Axios post to register and we add the data here. Okay, we don't revalidate, but uh, I'm going to say console.log and okay save this go to the localhost 3000 the console the refresh we have the button and if i go here and the refresh we have only one user now if i click register we have the okay here and also if i come here and the refresh we have the new user. Okay, see here how easy it is to connect the Vue.js with Laravel Breeze API. It's very easy. And now, because we don't have the login and logout here, I'm going to terminate this and also open now the new tab when we have the breeze next so because we are, have registered a new user we are logged in now in the backend so i am going to cd to the breeze next and i'm going to zoom in because i don't see okay and now run npm run dev here and we are going to change this to, to the uh, Next.js application. And you are going to see we are uh, logged in as the view. So if I go to the dashboard, we are logged in as a view user. Okay. That's it for this video, friends. You uh, can see how easy it is to create a view application and connect with the Laravel backend. All the best, friends. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. All the best.